Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 13 box nothing but net basketball mixer. 30 spots right here, no vet commons ship. This mixer includes a lot of great boxes right here. Um, for the uh, Hit Parade Autograph Collegiate Edition, if it's a retired player, it'll go to the team uh, that they played for the longest according to basketballreference.com. And if they are uh, active, they'll go to the team that they are currently on. So if they were traded, even if they were traded last week, it'll be the team that they played, that they currently play for, if they're active. Big thanks to everybody here for making this happen. A lot of people buying their spots trade up, which I appreciate. And uh, some winners right here. Congrats again to the winners. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Names and teams, two and a three, five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. We got Michael all the way down to Bennett. Two and a three, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we got the Cavs down to my Lakers. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Let's see how it shakes out for everybody. Michael with the Cavs, Mark with the Bucks, Jose with the Thunder, Nancy with the Clippers, Brandon with the Pacers, Dan with the Hornets, Paul with the Warriors, Cal with the Trailblazers, Josh with the Magic, TJ with the Nuggets, Brandon with the Nets, Sean with the Grizz, Cal with the Mavs, Matthew with the Heat, Alan with the Sixers, Zach with the Raptors, Mark with the Pistons, Brandon with the Kings, Michael with the Pelicans, Kime with the Celtics, Brian with the T-Wolves, Ryan with the Wizards, Michael with the Rockets, Brian with the Spurs, uh, Michael with the Bulls, Sean with the Hawks, Bennett with the Knicks, Jason with the Jazz, Ben with the Suns, and Bennett with the Los Angeles Lakers, the Lake Show. Let's sort by column B. Let's box these up. And we're gonna pause the video. We're gonna allow for some trading time. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, then the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. There was a deal done. So TJ and Mark made a deal. Let's make a deal. Mark is now out of the Pistons spot and into the Nuggets spot. And TJ is out of the Nuggets spot and into the Pistons spot. We'll put T next to there for trade so uh, so we can keep track of it. I can keep track of it and we can see who draws first blood, if any, in that deal. The trade window is closed. Let's print, let's rip, let's rock, let's roll. All right, let's flip screens right over here. Let's just get this one right in front of me. What is this? 2017-18 Revolution Basketball. I think what is that? That's Revolution Basketball Chinese New Year Edition. So they'll have the some slightly different parallels there. Here's the final printout. Wednesday the 25th. Thanks for spending a bit of your Wednesday with us, ladies and gentlemen. Hump day. It is the one I bought. Uh, no, no. Actually, you good memory. I had an older one though, right. that was all messed up, right? So, so that got retired, and then I bought a new one that was a little bit smaller. I don't know why I bought. That. Oh, I remember why. Uh, a couple of my friends had a camping wedding at a at a at a uh, campground, and. Uh, I bought a slightly smaller football uh, for the for the girls that were going to be there. Slightly smaller. These are all friends of mine, so I, I knew their hand size. Otherwise, my large, uh, gigantic man hands would have would have purchased a regulation size football odds. Actually, 
actually kind of fits my hand nicely too. All right, let's go. That is that should be the Chinese New Year um, parallel right there. Tyler Dorsey, Ryan Anderson, Zach Levine, Zach Collins, rookie. Maybe Jason Tatum would be nicer. Jeff Teague, Jabari Parker. Malik Monk. Miles Turner, Josh Jackson, Devin Booker. Gershon Yabusel, I thought that was gonna be, I just was looking at the team. Nurkic, Kristaps Porzingis, and DJ Wilson. All right, nothing too crazy there. What about? What year is this? 2014-15. Donruss basketball. 2014-15? Who are our rookies in 2014? Does anyone remember offhand? I guess I could look it up. but Is Giannis here? Or is Giannis 13, 14? Giannis isn't 14, 15. Devin Booker maybe is 14, 15? Allen's saying, come on, Joel. Maybe Joel Embiid? Yeah, uh, yeah, Giannis was 13, 14. So Joel Embiid, Devin Booker here? All right, okay, okay. So pay attention. Well, Alan already knows. Pay attention, Alan. Possibly Suns, Ben, Devin Booker, Zach Levine, Ryan Donovan saying. That would be Timberwolves edition. That would be Brian. Ryan also say Marcus Smart, if you're into that. If you're into Marcus Smart, Kime, Celtics. Oh, Booker might have been 15, 16. I don't know. Just a lot of years that are just melting into each other. I was never good with, with uh, remembering dates. Big history fan, big fan of the history, but just those like the those date specifics, just never got to it. There's Steph Curry. Tristan Thompson to 485. Aw, oh, come on, you guys. CJ Wilcox, duh. C.J. Wilcox was a rookie in this year. Of course. Clippers, Nancy. Nancy, you remember C.J. Wilcox. I thought we were sports fans here. I guess not. Obviously, C.J. Wilcox. Can't believe you guys. And gals. None of us got it. There's a Westbrook to 299. Thunder edition. There you go, Julius Randle's a rookie. That's to 199. What's up, Logan? It's Carmelo production line. Scotty Pippen, John Wall, Court Kings. Derek Favors. 
It's a different parallel. That'll ship. Thought it was numbered. Not numbered, though. Nice Jerry West elite. James Ennis for the Heat. Tyson Chandler. <laughs> exactly, yeah. At the end of every draft, everyone's like, who's going to be the next C.J. Wilcox? Joakim Noah, production line red. LeBron James, elite. LeBron James, again. And for the Raptors, Jonas Valanciunas, gamers, relic. Zach Gwynn with the Raptors. Cleveland gets the LeBron Jameses. Michael Hughes with the Cavs. Cleveland, this is for you. Baron Davis die cut and autograph. 56 out of 74. Warriors come out to play. Yay. Paul Norton with Golden State. Nice Baron Davis. A little blast from the past here. Danilo Gallinari. And Spencer didn't. That's what Spencer Dinwiddie was a rookie. Rookie card for uh, TJ. I forgot that he was a piston. There's Dinwiddie again, Pistons edition. It'll be for TJ. Vince Carter. Rondo, Dale Ellis. Was Jokic this year as well? 14-15? Tyson Chandler to 199. Luel Deng. I think the Lakers are still paying Luel Deng. There's a Tyson Chandler. And there's a Zach Levine rookie. Rated rookie for Brian and the T-Wolves. Brian Choi with that one. I feel like the the Timberwolves, Zach Levine stock was really high his rookie year, then came down a little bit and was still low with the Bulls, but maybe he's rebuilding his hobby value again. I haven't been really keeping track of Zach Levine prices, but at least on the court... He's been uh, been pretty good lately. It's Kyle Korver, Gamers Relic for Atlanta. It's going to be for Sean Maddock and the Hawks. Joe Johnson. Luis Scola to 132. John Wall, production line. Different wave parallel here. Chandler Parsons, Nick Stauskas. Press proof, Shaq, Lakers at a 199. <laughs> Logan looked it up. Lakers paying Luol Deng through 2022. I don't know what happened there. It did. It was a deal that sounded good at the time, but then it just, just maybe some injuries were there and just never, never really worked out. All right, there's Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think second year Giannis for the Bucks. That that'll be for Mark. And then we got Jabari Parker also for the Bucks for Mark. D. Wade, elite, Joe Harris, rated rookie, to 199, press proof, Iman Shumpert, Kobe, 
boogie. I've been kissed by a rose on the bread. Ooh, the more I get of you, the more you Yeah. And Wigan out. Andrew Wiggins for the T-Wolves. That's for Brian. The Javel, Javel McGee goes to Denver, goes to Mark. And the Kobe Bryant, of course, goes to the Lakers, Bennett. All right, what should we do next? Uh, let's do this prestige box? Sure. 1718. Or the Chris Lombardo saying Celtics are still paying Garnett another season or two. Yeah, when you stretch out those deals, you end up paying uh, that. Is Luol Deng really the fifth highest player on the Lakers? I think Luol Deng's only getting like another couple million dollars now. I think it was like a $12 million deal deal that they stretched for a few years, something like that. All right, yeah, this is the Tatum year, 1718. Let's show me Jason Tatum. No, that's Kershaw. Show me Justin Patton, T-Wolves. More Gershon, Yabusel. Harry Giles, Julius Irving, all-time greats insert. There's a LeBron James. There's a Rudy Gobert for the Jazz. There's a rookie Lonzo. There's a Josh Jackson. Justice is served and J.J. Redick. All right, nothing too crazy there. Lonzo, of course, Lakers edition going to Bennett. LeBron James still Cavs edition here. Michael Hughes. All right. What about what about in uh, what about Doncic hunting? This is eighteen nineteen Donner's Optic Basketball Mega Box Edition with the hyper pink parallels here. Of course, Trey Young possibilities here too. I feel like Josh Jackson was had like some decent showings, Chris, after he was traded from the uh, from the Suns. But yeah, has yet to put a, put together a complete season. It was kind of, kind of high too, if I remember correctly. There's DeAndre Ayton, rated rookie. He's been increasingly becoming a better and better player with every season that goes by. Ben with the Phoenix Suns. Rodion's Crux. This card kind of stuck together a little bit here. All right. No 
Nothing too crazy there. Let's see what's in these parallels. Got Jared Vanderbilt, Giannis, and Colin Sexton. Colin Sexton's not too bad. Cleveland, Michael Hughes. No, Brandon. Nothing. I mean, nothing really. Nothing really earth-shattering in this break just yet. But we still have a ways to go here. Um, where else should we go? What year is this? That's sixteen seventeen. Should we stick with some of the older stuff first? Yeah. Let's go. Let's let's go back in time to sixteen seventeen. Chris remembers the times that remembers the days when you would go to Target and see these optic megas on the shelf and just buy baseball instead. Yeah, do you know how much those optic boxes are now? Thanks to Luca and Trey Young. And DeAndre Ayton too. Damian Jones, rookie jerseys for the Warriors. There's your Dragon Bender, Ben. Old Dragon Bender. Kyrie Irving, sort of sunburst pattern here, not numbered. It's still cool. I let the pitcher go all the way out there. What are they doing? It's an infield fly. You, you tell the pitcher to get out of the way. Ben Simmons rookie card. Sixers, Allen. Jalen Brown go. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. Celtics, Kaim with the Jalen Brown. That's all right for a Celtic. Chris Dunn, blah, 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 LeBron James. Right, 
nothing too crazy there. Very nice cards here and there, but nothing too wild. All right, what else? Should we go this one right here? It's Prison Blaster Box 2021. Sure. I think both things will happen, Chris Lombardo. Chris is saying, I wonder if in two to three years we'll look back at 2019, 2020 stuff and think, wow, some of these players time to be busts, but we still waited in line to buy retail. Yeah, I think it'll happen both ways. I think they'll be, you know, I mean, it's just like for the teams too. We're waiting in line for Target for retail boxes. And meanwhile, professional franchises spending millions of dollars on these players. I mean, it's billionaires spending millions, but still, you know, you get my, you get what I'm saying. But yeah, that's the risk. Some of these guys are going to be, some of the hot hyped players are going to be amazing. Some of the hype players are going to be terrible. Some of the non hype players, the players we thought were sorry are going to be amazing. That's, that's the fun of it though. Jalen Smith. What else? I mean, who knows? Slick Watts. We know about Slick Watts though. Sonics. That goes to OKC Jose. Old Slick Watts. There's a silver Tyrese Maxey for the Sixers, Alan Murdoch. Patrick Williams insert going to Michael and the Bulls. And we got a purple wave, Jaden McDaniels. That'll be for the Timberwolves, Brian. And Josh Green. All right, why don't, why don't we get into a little bit of contenders basketball? 2020, 2021 contenders basketball. Good luck. Yeah, it must be tough field to swallow draft a top five player. And they're out of the league in three to four years. Are you saying the Lakers are used to that, Logan? Lakers usually aren't used to drafting in the top five. We don't know how to do it. We're used to drafting in the bottom five. Out of practice. Logan, your Jazz, though, are pretty good at it. We've had some nice draft picks over the years. Contenders box. We got a Tyler Hero to a 149. Got an OB top and lottery ticket. And we got a superstar die cut, Kawhi Leonard. You want to start? And we got an Elgin Baylor autograph. Yes, nice. Forty-eight out of ninety-nine. Old school Laker legendary contenders, Elgin Baylor. And that's Bennett with my Lakers. Nice. 
LaMelo Ball, lottery ticket insert. Charlotte, Dan Tin. And we've got Onyeka Okongwu, on-card autograph for the Hawks, Sean Maddock. He's got some upside. Went to USC, played with the Ball Brothers in high school, I want to say. And we got Anthony Davis die cut. <laughs> Mike Tower player that you wish your team never drafted. Yeah, I feel like every I feel like every fan could could pick out a bunch of those. There's Yusuf Nurkic to two ninety nine. That was your contenders box from twenty twenty, twenty twenty one. Let's flip back to 2019, 2020. It looks like Mosaic T-Mall. I don't regret Lonzo so much. Lonzo turned into... Uh, Lonzo turned into Anthony Davis. And I like Lonzo, too. I think he's pretty good. I don't regret that. Had Tatum, I just feel like I just feel like the Lakers were gonna trade that player somewhere else. And I don't know if they I don't know if they would have kept Tatum to be honest with you. There's RJ Barrett, nice gold wave for the Knicks. That's gonna be for Bennett. That's the shorter print right there, is Carson Edwards. I think the Reds are a little more common. It's like the Knicks were a little ahead of schedule. Right, yeah, yeah, Lonzo's problem is LeBron wanted to win now. Oh, really? I mean, can't put it on LeBron. It's really the Lakers wanted to win now, so that's why they got LeBron. And they had to act accordingly. It makes sense. You're not gonna you're not gonna get LeBron James on it and older LeBron James on your team and then just say, All right, you're just gonna wait for a few three or four years for these youngsters to develop around you, LeBron. DeAndre Ayton, Red Wave. Lori Markinen, Isaiah Roby. All right, what about, now we're getting into some of the higher end stuff here. Let's go, let's see what's in Court Kings here. Siakam, Nashi, RJ Hampton, we got a Cole Anthony, 
Rookie Expression, three color patch. That's going to be for the Orlando Magic, 8 out of 25. Josh Cohen. And then we've got an autograph. It's Cam Reddish holding court. Sean with Sean M with the Hawks. 18 out of 49. Origins. Yeah, we got a lot. <laughs> Brandon finally likes his teams, and now, now I can't hit him anything. All right, let's try to find you something here, man. What about Origins? Good luck. And then we, we got this, could be really nice, too, everybody. At Breaking. And then we got those jerseys in the back, too. Sexton. Blake. Zion. Second year Zion. Michael Porter Jr. to 99. Kevin Love reveals a Jalen Smith Origins rookie autograph, 15 out of 49, for Ben and the Suns. Behind Kevin Love is Xavier Tillman. Rookie autograph for the Grizzlies. Sean A. on the board. All right, let's keep going. Guess there could be some graded stuff in here. I should save this. I'll do the jerseys first. Let's do the college jersey first. Remember our uh, our non no checklist rules apply here. So there's traditionally no, and there isn't for this hit parade. There's no uh, checklist for it. So. If it's a retired player, we're gonna go to it's gonna go to the team that they played for the longest. If they're active, it'll go to the team they played, they're currently playing for right now, that they're active on right now. And we can play uh, a couple of quick rounds of America's favorite game. Who am I? I give you some clues, you try to guess who this person is. Good luck. Where's your autograph? Who are you? Oh, oh, what team did you play for the longest? He actually played for a decent number of seasons. He played for, oh, he played for the team that drafted him the longest. Who am I? Oh, well, Mike got it. Mike's no fun. Guessing before I even gave clues out. It is Christian Laidner. Next time, wait for the clues. Christian Laidner. There's his autograph. Two-time national champions inscribed right there. He's got some lettering on the back. I think it's a custom jersey, so we're going to leave it folded in here. There's the David Adams authentication. There's there's Leitner right there. Christian Leitner played for uh, played for the team that drafted him the longest. Four seasons with Minnesota. Actually, four seasons with Washington as well, but he played more games. That's the tiebreaker. Games 276 right there. Christian Leitner. So Brian with the Timberwolves. All right, Chris and Hollywood and Mike. Let's let's play the game. Let's play Who Am I? Not not this is not guess early. This is Who Am I? That's a lot more fun.
All right, next jersey. These are these are pro uniforms right here. All right, what do we have here? Oh. Oh, this is an NBA uniform too, or a, a, a officially licensed uniform. That's pretty nice. This must be That's pretty cool. The colors of these jerseys are really neat. All right, who am I? I've played 11, 12, 13, 14 seasons in the NBA. I'm still active. 14 seasons in the NBA. Three-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA, an All-Rookie player, a, a one-time Defensive Player of the Year, an NBA champ. About 13 seasons. Uh, center, 6'11", 255 center, right-hander, went to high school in Memphis, Tennessee, and was drafted by the Lakers in the second round in 2007. Whoa, PJ, how did you get that? Did you just get that just by height and weight? I feel like I didn't give a lot of clues yet. Was born in Barcelona, Spain. Went to high school in Memphis. Picked by the Lakers. But was uh, was traded to Memphis. It's Powell's brother, Marc Gasol. Played 11 seasons with Memphis. Two seasons with Toronto. And then is with the Lakers now. There's the PSA DNA right here. Here's Marc Gasol's autograph. There's the PSA DNA sticker, and this is an official Adidas jersey. There's the size tags on the bottom here. Love the NBA logos right there. You got the retail. You got the retail tag still on there. Nice. I'll fold this up nicely, but that goes to Memphis, and that's going to be for Sean A. with the Memphis Grizzlies. Nice. All right. Three cards right here. Good luck. All right, graded card, it's Kobe White, 2019 Panini Mosaic Basketball PSA 9, Kobe White, Michael with the Bulls. There you go, definitely has some upside. Next one, no, oh, they're all graded. This one's graded too, it's Lonzo Ball, PSA 10 Lonzo Ball, 2017 Panini Prison Basketball, Lakers, Bennett. Improved his shot a lot last year. He's continuing to evolve. And the third and final card, I see a red, white, and blue. Oh, this is nice. Trey Young, red, white, and blue prism. PSA 10, Atlanta, Sean Maddock. There you go, Sean. There you go, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's do a quick let's show you. And there was a lot of parallels, actually, but here's just a quick look at some of the autos and relics that we got out of there. But there's a lot of numbered cards and a lot of parallels that will be going out for people as well.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.